Hi guys, do you plan on building an efficient network system for your business or home office using simple installation? Because we know the setup might be difficult sometimes since you have to make sure it is well organized and easy to install so you can add multiple devices along the way. So the best system design might lead you rearrange or even cost you more in the future and we don't want that to happen. That's why we should choose the most effective way right from the beginning. So I strongly recommend you the PoE system. Now the PoE technology allows you to use a single switch and ethernet cable to supply for multiple devices like IP cameras or a wireless access point and make it easier and safer to install. So today in this video, I'm going to set up a small network system for your business or home office. And also I'm giving out five tips on how to choose your POE. So please bear with me to the end. And if you enjoy our video, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And we provide solid power solution for you right here on YouTube for free. There's no catch here. Just send us your problem through the link down in the description below and we'll be more than happy to send you back our solution plan and system design completely for free. So what exactly is PoE? Now PoE stands for power over ethernet. It allows electrical power and data signal transmitted over a single standard ethernet cable. Now, PoE works by using a device called a PoE injector or a PoE switch. They can send both power and data to the end device. And don't worry, it's perfectly safe because PoE is using a low voltage power. Now, the receiving device like an IP camera has PoE compatible network interface that can extract the power and use it to operate without requiring an external power source. In another word, you don't need any external power source available where you put your device. All you need it is a single ethernet cable. Now without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you do the whole connection of the network system setup. So here we are in front of the board. Let's pretend this is your business site or your home office. And we are going to install three network devices. First, the VOIP phone and a Netgear SS point and also an IP camera. And let's do it from the beginning. So this is our core switch. We have the router, the NVR and the main switch. Now the router is our main network. The NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It allows you to record videos from the IP cameras and also watch it on the monitor. This is our main equipment, the PoE switch. And now let's do the connection. I'm going to power up everything first. This is the NVR's power source, the router power source, and you can see it's connected. Now I'm going to connect our router with the NVR. Here we go, the lights are on. And also don't forget our HDMI plug with the monitor so we can see the image later. Now everything is on. Here we have our PoE switch. Remember, this is the PoE switch to send both power and data to our end device. So it has an AC adapter. Let's power it up. Here we go. The lights are on. Let me connect our PoE switch with the router. Here we go to our main network. So the setup is pretty simple, right? And it leaves us the three devices to install. Now I have three cable lines here. So let me just plug it all in first. One, two, three. Okay, whoops because we are adding three devices. So we need three ethernet cable. And first, let's connect with our VOIP phone, the voice over IP phone. 
The plug is right here. We just simply connect it with the Ethernet cable. And keep in mind, those three devices are all PoE compatible. Now, let me stick it on the wall and don't fall. The lights are on. It's getting power and data at the same time. Now, the Netgear SS point. Let me turn in the back. Here's the port. Let's plug in the second line here. Yeah, come on. Okay. All right. And we can see the lights are getting on. It's getting power and also data at the same time. Here we go. It leaves us the third one, the IP camera. We just simply plug in the Ethernet cable and we can see the indicator lights is on the image should come out shortly. See, the whole setup is pretty simple, right? And we already have our videos and it's alive. Let's see. And we have our co-worker Natasha working really hard right there. And the setup is done. And you can see there are no external power source available and they're still working because we have to switch to power the data and the power. Now I'm going to give you the five tips on how to choose PoE. Tip number one, make sure you know what kind of devices that you need and the number of the devices. For example, I need three cameras over here and one access point in another room. Make sure you have your design setup layout first. And you can even draw a simple scratch to have a view instead of just thinking of the device and just add it randomly. So make sure you plan ahead. Tip number two, make sure you choose the device with PoE compatible because not all the device has the PoE feature built in. That's why you need to be careful when choosing your device. Remember, the whole point of doing the PoE system is we don't want any external power source and you will need three of those. No, we don't want that. Now we don't need any external power source because the devices are PoE compatible. Tip number three, keep the power budget in mind because people tend to forget about the power budget. If you put a BT standard IP camera and plug it with an AT standard PoE switch, come on, it's not going to work because of the power consumption and power loss. PoE system has AF, AT and BT standard. So make sure you have to match with the PoE standard. Tip number four, PoE has a distance limitation. It is limited to 328 feet. So anything that is within that range, you can just plug it in with your PoE switch. But what if you want to add devices that is over 328 feet? Don't worry. You can just simply add a PoE extender or use a long range PoE switch. Tip number five, make sure you choose the right PoE switch. Now we have four ports, six port, eight port, up to 48 port PoE switch. Also managed switch, unmanaged switch, 30 watts, 90 watts, long range PoE switch. We have so many kinds of PoE switch. But don't worry, we are not choosing a gift for a loved ones. Actually, we have a clue here. Remember the five, the four tips that I gave you. We know the number of the device, we know the distance, and we also know the bandwidth of our devices. So now you are able to choose the PoE switch that is suitable for your situation. Now, if you want to know anything about how to use a long range PoE switch to set up a network system, you can watch the video right here. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time.